Rod Cone Dystrophy versus Cone Rod Dystrophy. The rods and cones transform light into electric nerve messages that transfer to our brain via our optic nerve. The rods support low light and peripheral vision, and cones support fine detail, color, and comprise the central vision. The malfunctioning photoreceptor cells be problematic, starting in childhood or may degrade with time. Rod cone dystrophy is the usual presentation of RP. That first causes rod photoreceptor failure, resulting in loss of vision in the dark, loss of peripheral vision, because rods mostly populate the outermost portion of the retina, resulting in tunnel vision. Pigment deposits beginning mostly in the periphery of the retina, caused by rupture of retinal pigmented epithelial cells that remove debris and nourish the photoreceptors. Secondary failure of the cone photoreceptors Partially due to the fact that the rod secret a rod derived cone viability factor that helps preserve cones from apoptosis Incidence 1 4000 Cone rod dystrophy presents with the primary onset of cone photoreceptor failure usually followed later by rod failure resulting in loss of cone photoreceptors because, the cones populate the most central vision, of the macula, and fovea centralis there is a loss of fine acuity, that occurs in the fovea. Color vision defects. Bright lights, tend to cause discomfort, or even pain. Blurred or decreased sensitivity, in the central visual field, of the macula. Pigment deposits start, in the central retina. Caused by rupture, of retinal pigmented epithelial cells, that remove debris and nourish the photoreceptors. Incidence 140,000. Available complementary treatments. There is no cure to change the gene mutation yet. The body is always trying to maintain optimal health, even in the face of genetic disorders. There is a wide range of research available that identifies the nutrients used in the retina that are needed to support photoreceptors and vision health targeted supplements that have been shown to help protect the photoreceptor cells from damage may be helpful it has been recognized by scientists that oxidative stress is a key factor in many eye diseases and in gene mutation links have been made between oxidative stress and gene mutations stem active contains the natural antioxidant anti-inflammatory anti-aptotic agents and neurotrophic factors which contribute to the retinal neuroprotection. Research has shown that RP patients who supplement with STEM active and consistently consume it for three to six months of the year have had on average an annual decrease in the loss of retinal function by 20% as measured by ERG in comparison to those not taking STEM active. It will also increase the success of stem cell and gene therapies. Before and after the stem cell L or genetic material injected into the eyes. As it helps provide an adequate environment of healthy optic rods and cones. As a substrate for gen transplant or optogenetic approaches. Which would hardly be successful in a damaged tissue surrounded by dying photoreceptors. Drugs should be avoided. Do not take impotence drugs, such as Viagra. Viagra blocks formation of an enzyme that transmits light signals from the retina to the brain. Doctors have known for several years that it could cause temporary vision problems in healthy men. But a 2014 study found its effects can be permanent. Alternating current stimulation. Some research indicates that daily use of specific frequency alternating current stimulation may help preserve rod and cone health. AC stim delivers electrical impulses to damaged and diseased photoreceptor cells. This device may help stimulate energy production in the retina, revert damage and preserve visual acuity and the visual field. Re-stimulate and energize dormant optic cells, cells are like batteries, when they run low in energy, they become sluggish and dormant. 
boost the cell's ability to rid themselves of waste products, which interfere with the flow of energy, nutrients, and communication. Increase blood supply to the stimulated area to nourish and regenerate living cells and tissues. Remove scar tissue and reduce pigments on the retina. Reduce inflammation. Neuroprotective effect.